you're complaining about trash piling up. You are literally poo water. Of course you have trash piling up. Yellow, yellow, everybody. My name is Daxton. Welcome to City Skylines, where today, as you can see, the theme is poo water. So naturally, we're going to create a water treatment plant. All right, so for this layout, I'm going to start with a canal, actually, because they are quite finicky to put in. Can be quite annoying. So I'm going to start with this, which is also going to tell me where where the whole build is gonna is gonna frame up against. So that's gonna be our baseline. And then we'll kind of come here, grab our industry road, and we'll start as close as we can without any of these snapping on. We don't want none of that. Let's come a little bit closer, as close as we can. And we'll come up by 930. Let's get our road guidelines back on 930. So about here and we'll just eye it up so it's perpendicular to that canal that we built before here that's going to be good and then we'll come up by 300 we'll come over by 450 here and then over here we're going to leave uh, a little bit of space so about here we'll come up we're going to leave um a space of three over here. You'll see what I mean in a, in a second. So 270 will go up by 270 and then come over by 300 and then they can meet up. This is fine. We want this little, little, little thing in the road there. And then to just continue out the framing here, we'll come up by 810. Uh, this is going to look a little bit bare before it's going to look beautiful, but it will look it will look beautiful. So 510 over and we'll come down by 420. Nice. Here. And then out by 510 to here. And then this one can come down and meet here. This will all make, make perfect sense in a second. Okay. Now we'll go back here, select our normal road. And then here we're going to make the frame for the entrance and some uh, some basic vanilla parking. So we're going to come here to this corner here and go out by a distance of 440, which is just over 10 units. So I believe this is 11 units, right? 10, 11. Yeah. 440 and then up by 400. And we'll just go and buy 200 here. These two are going to meet up. But I'm going to actually choose the airport road because of, uh, of this detailing on it right here. This is such a beautiful road. Okay. But with that, now we can close this one off. We'll go back to our normal road here and join those two up. All right. So here is our basic frame. Let's get an entrance going up here. So I'm going to come out here by 160 and up by 160. And then we'll come in here to our road tolls. Road tolls, that seems that seems flipped. Shouldn't that be toll roads? Oh, well. We'll take our toll road here and just plop it in like, come on, this. The way water treatment works in real life cannot really be emulated in Vanilla City Skylines because we just don't have the assets. But we can we can play pretend, right? This is a video game after all. So we'll start here uh, with with what would be the the pumping station and the the bar screens, and also the grid and sludge removal, right? So th those are the first steps. The poo poo water will come in here to the pumping station, and then circle it around, and then ultimately be clean water out here. So we'll take uh, our electricity here and we'll take this one, the geothermal power plant. Uh, this is actually a very, very pretty asset. And that will go right here. I like this asset for this build because of the these pipes it has here, right? So this very much looks like uh, things that would be in a, in a water treatment plant. And it does create a little bit of steam. Uh, so it fits in nicely to this theme, right? Uh, Next to that, 
will come into our water. And then if you do have the snowfall heat, uh, snowfall DLC, excuse me, we'll take the heating here and that will go in and sit next to this. So again, some really nice pipes, right? This all could be water running around doing all kinds of different things. So we'll just make pretend that the poo poo water is coming from all the citizens has come from down here and then it's coming in here and it's being pumped up and from here it's being led around, right? So that's the first step of a water treatment plant. This next step would be the grit and sludge removal, right? In City Skylines, we don't have this. We don't have an asset that could look like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take our tank reservoirs and we'll place them here, like so. And uh, yeah, this will just complement these, right? So next to this, the grit and sludge removal, the next step, it's going to be the, the primary sedimentation, right? For that, I'm actually going to use the, the advanced inland water treatment plant, the, the eco one. I want to make sure that it's, that it's going up against this road so that I have these drums uh, down here, down towards this road, right? The reason I like this one for this is because it's covered, right? So imagine this water is still dirty. It's probably not very nice smelling either. The next step would be aeration. And for that, I'm going to be using the pumping station from the Natural Disasters DLC. And we'll put that in there. The water is already a little bit bluer here. So it's coming in here through sedimentation and then into this aeration. And through here, it's already getting a little bit cleaner. Now, following this, it's going to go into the final sedimentation, which for that, I'm going to use the normal water treatment plant. And we'll put this right here. And I'll leave a space in between them here just a grid here uh, so that we can get a, a path and some decorations in there. So this is the final sedimentation and then um, it's going to come out here, right? We'll just put in our fresh water outlets and I want to make sure that I leave enough space here. Uh, so let's see. To, so about here, I'm going to put my finger on, on the screen actually and then take our fresh water outlet and plop it down here one next to the other here let me just check yes perfect this is why i wanted the canal first because if not um this would not be possible it would not jump over like like this the fresh water outlet would just simply sit on top of this and not 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 do what i wanted it to do right but that's basically the layout um so if we go through it right the pumping station here and this right this is where it comes in first then we have the the bar screens these three pillars right here would be the bar screens then we come into the grid and sludge removal which we'll just have to imagine would look like this then the primary sedimentation is here and then from there the water would move into the aeration biological reduction from there, it's going to go into the final sedimentation and then into the disinfectation. Disinfectation? Is that a word? Disinfectation? It is now. We shall disinfectate things. Uh, <laughs> disinfection. And from there, it's going to be released into the wild. Now, right here, I want a um, sort of entrance building. So I would imagine that these facilities are quite secure, right? The, the ones I've walked past, you can't really even see them uh, you just know that they're there um, which is also why I use this toll road uh, so you would come in right you'd probably have to show your uh, your badge uh, someone right here is asking if you actually work here to see your ID and so on and so forth so right here I want a building to sort of supplement that I'm gonna come here to my um, road maintenance and I will actually put in our road maintenance building uh, right here and that's going to centralize up nicely right I like the look of it it uh, it gives me the look that I want for this right so you would come in here and then from here you would you would go where you where you need to go right so let's create some offices over here right uh, and there's one office which is it's a four by four and if you let it come in uh, if you zone it specifically and let it grow in, you will get uh, two 4x4s 
that are sort of corner buildings and uh, they will look like one big building. The way you would do it is a four by four, let this one grow in and other four by four and let that, that one grow in and then historicalize them both. And then in the end, it's going to look a little bit like this. All right. And then behind this, uh, let's create some parking and we can do that with the green cities DLC. If you create a zoning pattern that looks like this, you put a district over it and you choose the organic and local produce. And with some patience, you'll get a parking lot that looks like this. It's super nice. And then over here, we'll put a two by three office zoning. And there's a specific asset uh, that I'm looking for uh, that, that fits in with this theme that, that could be the the disinfectation as, as we've amply christened it, right? Uh, and this one looks a little bit like this. Now this one fits in nicely. Look at this. Look at how these two buildings complement each other, right? With the, with the texture. It's beautiful. Let's jump into a detailing time lapse. So we want some fences, some, uh, some paths. It's going to be very simple. Maybe some bushes around. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. That's gonna do it for me today. I'm really happy the way this this build turned out, uh, with the sort of rigid detailing, with uh, with lots of bushes, lots of fences. I really enjoyed this. I think it turned out very very nicely. Um, using here the the toll roads as sort of the the entrance to the whole thing, the the ID check entrance. Uh, you come around the corner into uh, into this beautiful big block road with the with the parking down at the end here, and these two big block offices. Uh, and yeah, the the vanilla parking. It's it's super pretty. I, I really like this asset. So thank you so much for uh, for watching this. And if you did like it, leave a thumbs up down on the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know in the comments below any suggestions for what to build next. And with that, enjoy the rest of your day, evening and or night. And see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>